But it, the dating, it, it worked out kind of decent. And after, I don't know how many years of trying, I ended up sitting nearly 15 years in the naturalization interview to become an American. It's kind of cool after all the effort, you know, and I was, thanks. Well, hold on now, we don't know how it worked out. It's, you do be a bit nervous about it because you come over here and you'll see in the media all this talk about building walls to keep immigrants out. And I'm like, well, I'm an immigrant. I'm a bit nervous about doing this now. And I walked in and the guy greets me and he's all serious, kind of military look to him. And he's like, sir, we're going to start this examination by testing your English. It's like, well, that seems a bit unnecessary. <laughs> right, and he, he says this sentence, I need you to read it. So I was like, okay. And I read it and it said, who was the first president of the United States of America? And the answer was there as well, George Washington. And I read it and he said, that's it. You passed. <laughs> I was just thinking, this seems rigorous. <laughs> you know, and I, I didn't want to get a bit angry about the process and, and him testing my English because I realized no one understands me most of the time in your fine country and I knew this. So I took affirmative action, I learned Spanish. <laughs> It's a pretty good plan B. <laughs> and it has advantages to it. Now I get served much faster in Panda Express. <laughs> and some of you will think that's a racial comment. And it is, yeah. <laughs> it is clearly based on a $2 billion a year enterprise founded under British colonialism in Hong Kong, relocated to Kansas City, where they predominantly, nearly exclusively use Latin people to sell Americans fake Chinese food rapido. <laughs> Just clearing that up. But so I was a bit nervous about the whole thing. And he, he comes at me with the second question and he's like, sir, now I'm gonna test your comprehension. I am gonna read you a sentence and I want you to write it down. I was like, okay, I'm ready. And he's like, George Washington was the first president of the United States of America. I was just like, are you joking? He's like, sir, this is a serious process. I assure you, I'm not joking. So I just wrote it down and I was like, this is, this, this seems too easy. I was kind of expecting a curveball because I am a Spanish-speaking minority. Uh, <laughs> so I'm nervous. And there was six general knowledge questions and he went through them fast. They're all ridiculously easy and it all hinged on the last one. He just locked eyed with me and there wasn't even a flinch of humanity in his eyes. He just looks at me, he's like, sir, last question. Who was the first president? <laughs> of the United States of America. And I was like, George Washington? And he's like, well done, sir, that's it. And I, I was like, you guys don't need to build walls. You just need tougher questions. <laughs> hey, did you know the Dry Bar Comedy has their own app? Download it right now to watch, save and share clips and watch my whole special.